Hi, for those who aren't subscribed to my EV Blog 2 channel, and you really should be because you'll miss interesting uh, stuff like this, and so I'll link in my EV Blog 2 channel down below, and at the end, if you're not subscribed, set the notification bell and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I had to check the date for this, but back in uh, December 2017, I set up this long term LCD experiment. And a lot of people have been asking me over the years what's the update on this LCD uh, experiment that I did. Now, this came about because of my LCD tutorial I did, how to actually drive seven segment uh, displays like this. And I'll link that in and the end down below as well, because it's a very interesting tutorial on how to drive LCDs. And you basically, um, you have to drive them with a AC waveform. You've, uh, the uh, polarity has to alternate between the common and the segment. So this is why uh, you need like a special LCD driver to drive LCDs. But I can't remember uh, why at the time. But anyway, I decided to set up this experiment to see if a typical LCD like this would would actually die like how long it would last if you actually drove it incorrectly with just DC ie on the common pin you put ground and on the segment you just put 5 volts and you just left it there um, like this is totally against the recommendations of all the LCD manufacturers because uh, LCD is of course liquid crystal display there's actually liquid crystals inside there and depending on the uh, electrostatic uh, polarity of it um, you can either turn them on the individual segments which are filled with the liquid crystals on or off and you can't just keep DC on there but it does actually work <laughs> in quote marks you can actually drive it because this is the experiment that I set up. I'm actually driving this with an Arduino Uno down here. I set up two examples for this. I had, I think, in, maybe in my uh, driving tutorial, I, I had the Arduino set up to drive it uh, correctly with the reverse polarity. You would just uh, reverse the pins on the segments and uh, you could actually drive an LCD properly. But of course, you run out of pins pretty, pretty quick to do that. But you can certainly do that. So I decided to set up this experiment. This one has been uh, was running since then. It was running for a couple of years until like I moved here and then the flood happened or something and it hasn't been running since so a lot of people have been asking what's the update because I'm I'm driving this with just 5 volts DC so the commons just connected to ground as you can see down here and it just uh dry it just puts 5 volts in any of the LCD segments and rather than just turn them all on I thought I'd just have it boringly count um <laughs> from 0 to 9 and then reset and it's actually been as you can see it works, but when I powered this up, like I've had no results over the last couple of years, but when I powered it up this time, I just got it out of storage uh, to like see if this thing, like to basically just put it back on power, and I noticed something unusual. Check this out, right? It, it just counts like normal, but if I actually remove the power from it, the, the I noticed that the segment stayed there. Now I covered this in my original video um, where you can actually get that it's like electrostat it's a capacitive um, charge like capacitive charge build up you can actually uh, get segments to stay on for a quite a substantial amount of time but it that's not what that's not you they would have faded by now but that's not what's happening in this particular case um, it it doesn't matter like we can just stop it on any segment like this and it actually it, the segments just like permanently stay on. This is unbelievably bizarre. This is like opposite to what I sort of expected to happen because uh, from kind of some stuff I read, if I remember correctly back in the day, it's like if you drive these with DC, then the liquid crystals can get, uh, they get bogged up lethargic so they can actually stay on. Or, you know, you just can't drive these segments anymore. Like it just kills the LCD uh, basically. And I don't know, I haven't driven this with like a higher frequency. I haven't modified the firmware to go higher in frequency, but this is... This is bizarre. It'll just reset like this. And as far as I know, there's, I can't say, maybe you can see at home, but there's nothing, there's like, hang on, wait, I'll pull it out. There we go. And that there seems to be no like lag or fade in those segments at all. So like, it's almost as if this is like taken on the properties of like an e-ink, e-paper, type display where it doesn't require power to actually maintain the image. Isn't that cool? <laughs> this is totally not what I expected. Um, but 
this seems to be well in this particular case with this particular LCD this is a uh, Lumix one I'll try and link in the data sheet uh, down below you can buy it on DigiKey and it's a nice big seven segment uh, display but this particular one seems to be now acting like an e-ink or e-paper display where you do not need power to actually and I've left this off for ages so I'll just leave that off uh, and it'll <laughs> it'll just stay like that it's absolutely Incredible. So I don't know what the heck is causing that. So if there's any uh, liquid crystal uh, experts out there, please let us know. But isn't that cool? So probably um, do some experiments on your own. Like I, obviously it might take a long time uh, for this effect to actually happen for this LCD to ink uh, conversion to actually e-paper. What do they call them these days? E-paper or e-ink? Anyway, it might take a while to get this uh, to happen. Maybe there's some way to accelerate the process or something like that. But definitely try and experiment with like drive. Maybe if you drive them at a higher DC voltage or something. I don't know. You might be able to accelerate uh, the process. But clearly the liquid crystals are, are doing something really bizarre. Like they're just staying on. They're just, I stay, like I I just. No, I, I have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to hand this over to the audience, but that, that is really cool. <laughs> Can we convert an LCD into an e-ink or e-paper display? Hey, so that could be really cool if you've got like a, a favorite seven, seven segment display that you want to use and you want to uh, like use the properties of e-ink, which it retains the image with no power. Um, so yeah, anyway, I left this uh, like overnight and it was still holding the thing on there and uh, holding the image on there. It's just incredible. It seems to have converted it into some form of e-ink display. So that could be really useful. Anyway, I'm gonna have to, let me know in the comments down below um, some more experiments you want me to do with this. Like I can drive it at high frequency and uh, you know, maybe the high speed camera to see if there's any lag in the segments at higher update rates and, and things like that. I don't know, there's a bit of work involved in doing something like that, but isn't that weird? Anyway, that is bizarre. So uh, please, if you know, heard of this uh, effect before, I couldn't find any info on it. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, discuss it down below and also over on my library channel. I'm about to hit 15,000 subs over there. Absolutely fantastic. Catch you next time.